Hello and welcome to Cardiff and Vale College here on Dumbles Road where we are gathering to uh, look at a second Liverpool City report which has got a range of interesting facts and figures and really highlighting some of, of the opportunities but also some of the challenges that a fast growing city like Cardiff faces and I'm joined by Alison who is the city's challenge advisor who is uh, really here to help us to think about some of those issues uh, and Alison what do you think are, are some of the real key findings that are in uh, this report? Well I think the first thing to say about it even before answering your question is that it says a lot about the city that it's got a livable city report and it's getting the data all in one place the good the bad mm. um, and putting it all together so that that information can be shared because you know, we know that Cardiff is growing and we know that budgets are tight. And I think what this allows us to do is start to develop some measures of how we can push the city to being more livable for more people and because we have all those challenges at hand. And I, I think that's one of the, the greatest things about it. It's, it's recognizing that the people love Cardiff, uh, that there's a lot of great aspects of Cardiff, there's a lot of great attributes that can be exploited, and there are a lot of challenges. What it interestingly points out, that those opportunities and those challenges are often um, in similar pots, and so I think there's, it, it starts to propose that, or it gives us opportunities to think about how we can link up both the solutions um, and also start to battle the problems together. And what does livable mean to you? I mean, it's a word that's banded around a lot in, in regards to cities, and uh, not just here, but internationally. Absolutely. Uh, for yeah. you, how would you uh, explain to someone on the street what livable meant? For me, coming from Gale Architects, coming from Copenhagen, uh, livable is about eye-level everyday life, so that it's bringing it right down to the dignity of every citizen, who, whether they're a resident, whether they're a visitor, whether they work in Cardiff, thinking about the quality of their everyday life, how they walk to work every day or how they travel to work every day, how you get to school, um, whether you know your neighbors, the, the, the quality of um, your shopping living experience, that very banal every day, where do you put your rubbish out, um, do you know your neighbors? I think really livable cities um, are, are hitting all of those markers really well. And then the really fantastic offer that Cardiff has to, to give in terms of its green space, its open space, its great cultural attributes um, are also really important. But to be truly livable in the ways that make these metrics make sense, you've got to tackle it at that eye level, everyday level. And uh, there's some really interesting statistics in here, particularly about issues around inequality and making sure that as cities grow and as Cardiff grows, everyone shares in that success and benefits and uh, I think that's a really strong learning point from this report. That's right, absolutely. I think it's got a lot of great opportunities in it and I just, I'm looking forward to seeing how the city can start to pull out some primary themes and see how they move forward to, to, to act on it. Great, brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Alison. Thank you.